welcome back to my channel. So today's video is this look right here and it is a, I tried to do like all one brand tutorial but I didn't have every single category in these brands. Um, so I did a mix between Fenty and Huda which are two of my like favourite brands. So I've got a lot of each and I'm obsessed with pretty much every product that I've ever tried out of both of the brands. So I thought I would do a tutorial with both of them and I'm just going out for dinner. Well, we've got like a barbecue at the family house. So just going there. How do you guys feel about the no backdrop? I've just got my, this is just like what my room looks like all the time. Not when I have the big backdrop up. I'm just changing studio setups and stuff. So moving a few things around. And it is such a pain to get it back in and out and in and out and in and out all the time. So, um, yeah, it's just for some other types of videos that you guys will see. Well, anyway, let's get into the video before I start rambling forever. If I seem a little bit hypo, I've had a coffee and for some reason, like I had a coffee at probably like 10 o'clock and it's 6 o'clock and I'm still like hypo, like I don't hypo, hypo, whatever. I don't know why. I, coffee affects me like a lot and I like, so, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm fucking buzzing. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I've already done all my skincare, so I'm going to grab a primer and I'm going to grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer. This one actually is really nice. I got a mini version because I am pretty skeptical on primers because they don't always work. I have like my ride or die. I have like two that I love for my skin. Um, so I'm a bit skeptical of primers. So that's why I got a mini version of it first to try out. And I actually have been really liking it. So I definitely think when I run out of that, I'll buy the big one. And naturally I left my beauty blender in the bathroom because I wet it. So I'll be back. So for foundation, I'm gonna grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This one is in the shade 230, which is a little bit light but it probably will look good in this lighting because this lighting is like washing me out so much and I'm going to pop this on with the Fenty Beauty sponge. I actually really love this beauty blender. It's so nice. So I'm going to pump a few pumps of that on the back of my hand so it is a little bit light but it's not too bad. That's a little bit better I guess. That's kind of warms it up a little bit. I just adjusted one of the settings on my ring light, which warms up a bit. And I'm just kind of in between it, so that's a little bit better. I don't look so sick. <laughs> how are you guys, how are we feeling about the no background? I'm fiddling around with backdrops and stuff like that for some other videos. It's just too much of a pain to bring it in and out and in and out. So I've just got it out for the moment. But how do we like without? I kind of don't mind it. It's like a lot <laughs> less effort to record when I don't have to set up this big backdrop because that's literally my nightmare because it's so it's the length of the room. So I can't get out of here if I need to. <laughs> I can, but it's like being born is easier than getting out of here. So I just, yeah. All right, and for concealer under my eyes, I'm gonna grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This is in the shade 130, which is quite light for me, but I blend it in and I really like a bright under eye. So I'm gonna pop a very small amount of this under my eyes. And I'm just gonna blend these dots in with my Beauty Blender. And before I powder, I'm gonna cream contour with the new Huda Beauty Tan Tour. So this one is a cream, which is like a 
contour bronzer in one. I have tried this once before and I did really like it. So I'm keen to use it again. This one is in the shade medium. And I'm just gonna start by dipping my brush in and drawing some lines along my face. much in the same sort of area I would usually contour just obviously way more concentrated but it will get blended out under my chin and to the bridge of my nose under my nose and under my lip drop me brush and I'm just gonna blend that out with a beauty blender I've always been a little bit funny with cream, bronzers, and contours because I find because I use a more matte foundation, they tend to like dry really quickly and don't want to blend into the foundation because the foundation is so matte and has pretty much dried. But this is probably one of my favorite ones that I've ever used. Like, it's actually probably the best. And for powder, I'm gonna grab the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Banana, and I'm going to bake a little bit under the eyes and kind of you know, all the areas that I usually bake. I'm so glad that this smells good because otherwise I'd be like inhaling with, with all this freaking powder right now. And now that I have like a beard of baking, I'm going to dust that off with my Morphe E8 brush. still gonna put a little bit of bronzer over the top and I'm gonna grab the Fenty Beauty bronzer this one is in the shade caramel cutie this one's just the Sun stalker bronzer and I'm just gonna pop that on with my Urban Decay contour definition f109 brush so I just want to give a little bit more something something so just going over the same areas that I popped the cream bronzer okay and for blush i'm gonna pick up the huda beauty 3d highlights palette this one's the pink sands and i'm gonna take the shade ibiza down here on my luxie 266 brush so this is like a glowy pink it's almost like a highlight i don't like a strong like blush so this is just gonna be like a bit of glowy color on the skin then i am also going to take the shade santorini and pop a little bit of highlight on with that this one is my anastasia a23 brush honey this was so nice Alright, so I am going to do the eyeshadow now and I'm going to grab the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette and the colour that I'm going to grab first is going to be the shade Amber right here on my Smashbox number 10 brush. I'll zoom you guys in first. And I'm just going to pop this shade in the crease. And then really bring it up 
and blend it out and a little bit of a B towards the temple. Just really making sure it's super blended. And then I'm going to mix a bit of the shade Blazing here, this orangey shade, just to give it a bit more warmth. Just doing the exact same thing, I just want to kind of make it a little bit more orange. And doing the same with the other side. And then I'm going to grab the shade Saffron down here, this beautiful red shade. And I'm going to pop that on with my Morphe E22 brush. And I'm just going to sort of pack this on the lid. And then blend it into the crease. And doing the same with the other side. And then I'm just going to take that same saffron shade on my MAC 239S brush and smoke out the lower lash line. And for mascara, I'm going to pop on the Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir, Noir, whatever it is, mascara. I am obsessed with this. This is my second mini tube because Sephora has like had this for like if you had 100 points or something so I was like hell yeah this is one of my favorites I was gonna buy another one anyway and I was like ah I am just get a mini but this is an amazing mascara like holy crap it's so good I love it when I curl my lashes but I'm so lazy when I'm putting false lashes on to curl them because they're just gonna stick to the fake lashes anyway so you know And before I put the fake lashes on, I want to let the mascara dry. So I am just going to do my brows off camera because I don't have anything that's like Huda Beauty or Fenty for brows. I don't even know if they do brows. Not yet. But they should. They should definitely be doing brows. I'm just going to use my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade 4.5. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, so I am going to pop some fake lashes on now and I am going to use the Huda Beauty Noelle Faux Mink Lashes and I'm going to pop them on, on off camera because you guys have seen me do that a million times and I try and make these videos not half an hour long because you guys aren't going to sit there and watch it. But I'm going to pop these on. Alright, so the lashes are on and they look amazing. They're not too intense for me. Like I usually wear like some big extra 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 ones um but i am going to put a lip color on so i'm going to start with the huda beauty this is the matte lipstick in the shade interview i'm going to pop that on And over the top of that, I'm going to pop the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I, you guys know how much I freaking love this stuff. Like, it's so good. Because I am going out, I'm going to set my face with a setting spray. I don't have the new Huda Beauty setting spray yet. I want to get my hands on it, but it was sold out last time I tried to buy it. So, I will definitely be getting that soon. But instead... Mm. But instead, I'm going to use the Tatcha. This is the Satin Skin Mist. I love the Dewy Skin Mist, but Satin is a little bit more up my alley because I am a little bit more oily and I tend to get very, very, very oily, even though it's winter time. So I'm going to pop a bit of this on. And I love that this doesn't have a scent to it. So the other one has a really beautiful scent, which is great. But I find fragrances tend to break me out. So the fact that this doesn't have a scent to it is amazing. So you're going to give it a good shake. And it has the nicest mist like ever. It's so good. All right. And I'm just going to go change and I'll be right back. All right. So I just changed and I like this jumper, but it's like a bit itchy and I can't decide whether I want it 
this or like this but i kind of like the off the shoulder but i'm literally already getting like a rash from how itchy it is so i don't know i might change but yeah this is the finished look and i'm all ready to go i just got to put some shoes on and leave but yeah Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, before we leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that button down below and then also click the notifications bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it as well. And pop some comments down below for any other brands you want me to try. But yeah, let me know down below. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.